Hi, welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective love reading, okay, for November 2021 and beyond. So this will be for the rest of November and beyond, okay? So that can even go into 2022, okay? So it can go into December and then on into 2022. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Keep in mind, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. So let's see what the energy is. So what's going on for the collective and love, please? Now, love can be friendships, family dynamics, romantic partners in the past currently are coming towards you. This could be, um, you know, family dynamics, friendships, anything like that, or, or even just in self-love, okay? Um, actually, not this one. Okay, let's see. What's going on for the collective in love, please? What's going on for the collective in love, please? All right, Spirit, make up your mind. What deck you want me to use? Okay, sorry. They're, they're arguing about what deck. Okay. All right, the original one I was starting to use. Let's see. Show me the collective in love, please. I need to fix this. I'm sorry. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay. All right, show me. Show me the collective in love, please. Show me the collective in love. Love, November 2021 and beyond. Show me the collective in love. Okay, show me the collective in love, please. November 2021 and beyond. Okay, wolf in reverse. Transformation in reverse. And we have nature spirits. Okay. And I'm going to read the end. At the end, I'm going to read these to you what they mean from the book but here there's something that is going to be revealed to you somebody's not acting it alone and something needs to transform itself there's not there's something that isn't transforming here okay with nature spirits here you need to get grounded you need to be in your element so if that's earth air fire water okay ether you need to get into the, your you need to ground that's number one also you might be getting woken up by warning or alarming dreams here with the raven. You might be woken up in your sleep um, with premonitions or dreams. So pay attention to that. Maybe keep a dream journal. But it's going to be really important. Something, Something's going to alert you in your sleep about a wolf being revealed and a transformation that has not yet taken place. That needs to be taken place. And this one says, on your toes, twirl and twirl until you're ready to take flight. They arrive in the winds beneath your wings and speak through the swaying of the trees. So you're getting some form of insight, spiritual insight or communication from the divine, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, whomever, your intuition. And it's a warning message here regarding your love life. Okay, a wolf will be revealed. What else, please? Why is the wolf reverse? Why? Somebody hasn't mastered something. Um, being able to be a part of a pack or a family dynamic. Somebody hasn't mastered something. Okay. All tied up. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else, please? That needs to change. We also have goddess of the moon. There's illusions here around transformation. There's not... You got seven and five here. The major changes, okay? But there's something that hasn't been transformed yet. Also, we have the woman holding a coin. So the earth energy, but also fire. So... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's illusions around this. We also got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. But someone is all tied up in their head about something. About a change that needs to be made or something that's going to be revealed. Why is it all tied up here? There's a secret. Okay, there's illusion or deception around a transformation that hasn't happened. Then there's a need for you to focus. To not so much focus on the illusion of something. But to listen to your inner guidance. The communication from spirit, but also you need to get grounded so you can hear that, okay? You're too much up in the air all or up in your head. Show me all tied up, please. Thank you. Yeah, we nine of pentacles here with the ten of swords. So someone here is all tied up about lying or betrayal around being single. One too many times I'm hearing being stabbed in the back here. What's this illusion about? The goddess of the moon. What's this illusion about? 
not moving forward here, being on the downswing of the karmic wheel. About mani emotional manipulation here, being out of uh, out of your element, not grounding your energy, not grounding your emotions. Somebody here is getting some form of karma for their emotional manipulation. It could be a female, should, could be a Cancer or a Pisces. They're getting karma for their manipulation. Or a Virgo feels deeply betrayed, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn feels deeply betrayed here. Someone, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles here, with the woman holding the coin and the Three of Pentacles here. So what's the difference between Ten and Three? Seven, right? Somebody here is not investing properly. They want to come together with someone or something, but they're not investing properly. This also talks about the lo the loss of having to go back to the drawing board to build some type of legacy here, family stability. Wow, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to take all of these. Okay. Yeah, someone feels left out of the cold here. Someone feels like they're not... They feel abandoned. They feel de left desolate here. Someone's no longer waiting for the betrayal to happen to be revealed because there's there's too much deception. There's too much illusion around this. This needs to be cleared out with the Queen of Swords. Here. Now we have two, we have three queens plus the Goddess of the Moon. Someone needs to be very clear with the truth about what it is they want with the Ten of Cups here, about the family and the love here. Someone has a family and they also have new love, but there's not building of any form like firm stability or foundation here. Need to go back to the drawing board regarding stability. With the King of Wands reverse, there's someone here who is a bit egotistical. They like to be the center of attention here. And the third tantrums, well, they're not the center of attention. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here. It's very slow to commit. Taurus energy. They're at a crossroads or an impasse here having to make a decision to release some form of toxicity or obsession. Somebody here has a very strong obsession. That needs to be cut out. You got a lot of people here. So we got the Queen of Cups. We got the Goddess of the Moon. We got Goddess of the Moon, Queen of Coins. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Taurus here. We got a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. What else we got? Someone's at an impasse. They need to go within to learn these lessons. They're being guided by the truth, by the North Star, which is Aquarius. They're being guided by hope to release something deep within themselves to heal. They're at a crossroads, though, about how to do this. They're searching for personal truth. Virgo energy. I'm going to see how many majors we got. But there's a lot of illusions and confusions around it. A lot of options to choose from. Someone just really needs to make a choice. Now we have the Emperor showing up in the Eight of Pentacles. So someone has choices that they need to make regarding with working with a masculine energy. It's a female that needs to work. It could be the same sex, but it doesn't have to be. This masculine emperor is in their power here. They're diligently working, but they're trying to cut through some form of confusion. But they're struggling to do that because there's somebody here who is retreating, pulling back from them that they don't understand. Now we have the Queen of Wands. We have the King and we have the King and Queen of Wands. We have a couple, a true pair, but one is not standing in their power. But this Queen of Wands here, this Aries Sagittarius is holding on. This is more Leo now. There's a lot of confusion. We got Aries, Taurus, Leo there as well. This okay. Someone's holding on to an ending because they want to. With the Queen and the King of Wands, both they're very, both very self-indulgent here. They're very, very attractive people, but mostly about themselves. And we have the Lovers reversed. There is a choice that will be made, and I feel like somebody here is going. They're holding on to the ending of a choice that they made. This person, this emperor could be standing by their choice that they've made. Anything else, please? Someone's retreating from a fire sign, female. Yeah, they're rejecting them with the Ace of Wands reverse. I do not know if y'all can see that. There is a rejection here. What else? Yeah, rejection of a new beginning, but why, why? Why is this all this holding on? And then it's like holding on, letting go, holding on. It's like in, out, in, out. Doesn't know what they want. First, it's like I'm no longer waiting, but then waiting at the crossroads. And then retreating, and then rejection. 
Somebody pulling back from somebody felt like a rejection towards them. You got the page of swords reversed. Somebody here is watching them. Someone is prying eyes. Someone's stalking them. Somebody is not. They don't want somebody asking questions anymore. Okay. What else? Anything else from the, from this deck? Yeah. Somebody here doesn't want somebody to ask them any questions. They don't want a, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius to ask them any questions. Somebody is very deceptive in their communication as well about new beginnings or the rejection of it. They're not being honest. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that isn't being honest. They're holding on very stubbornly. They're they're repeating the cycle. It's like unfinished business here, but they're repeating cycles. King of Pentacles here again. They're very jealous here. Their jealousy and instability in financial dependence and bribery, even maybe, is an empty victory here because there is all just it was all built on a lie. It was all illusionary. It was all built on a lie. So we got Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Somebody has been lying about offers of new love here, but they're doing it out of selfish reasons. Somebody wants revenge on somebody, and that's why they're doing it. Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, let's see what else we get. I'm going to turn these over because I'm going to read them at the end. Let's see. What else do we have here? What else do we have for the collective in love? What else do we have for the collective in love, please? Okay. Looking deeper into a message that arrives here from a woman, but about an ending. Because they, they want to end being held back or held down here. There's two women involved. Someone is unlocking the truth about love here. That someone has been giving to others. They want to have good luck here. But there, it's very codependent. Very defensive energy around loyalty. And mistrust. Spirit has been letting this person know. You need to give where your investment will grow. But somebody here. There's an illusion. Around what they feel like will grow. So the, the grass is always greener. Where you water it. If you're not watering it in your own yard. Then of course the grass will be greener on the other side. If that's where you're watering it. Right? They're hiding their feelings big time. They're being divinely guided, though, to, to drop. But it's a heavy burden, this truth, this loyalty. They're worried about the truth being revealed, but it's becoming a, between a king of swords and a king of wands. They're it's a burden. They're worried about the truth is a burden here. It's being masked. Hidden offers with a air sign, feminine energy, Gemini Libra. I'm taking a new direction regarding commitment. Could even be an Aquarius. Yeah, someone's got a choice to make about new beginnings. Do they want to stay with where they're at or do they want to master themselves and choose differently? We got the Queen of Pentacles now, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With this new beginning here, watching and waiting. Somebody here lives in fantasy land about what love should be. And they're calling in a tower for themselves because they're they're an illusion. They don't understand that they they are literally in an illusion that they're of their own making, their own creation. They somebody here likes to blame other people for their own for their own deception, and they are in denial about their portion of something. There, this there's a feminine energy here, who's in denial. Could also be a masculine energy, but maybe both. Yeah, we got the King of Cups reverse. Somebody is very emotionally manipulative. Could be Cancer, could be a Scorpio or Pisces, but they're very emotionally all over the place but could be emotionally manipulative as well what else they're not able to move on someone is not able to move on if somebody a water sign that they let go of because they did de they deceived them yeah and it's this queen of wands reverse this person did it out of revenge queen of wands in reverse is someone who's very very petty aries leo sagittarius we got the five of swords reverse this manipulation that by the queen of wands hands will be revealed here but somebody here is trying to protect the secret with the Seven of Wands. 
It's an unfair fight. Nine of Swords here is coming in with the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Gemini Libra Aquarius is coming in with the truth here. This Queen of Wands can't move on from the manipulation that they that they did towards a or what they did to somebody, male or female, doesn't matter. This many this emotional manipulation, they're not being allowed to move on until they make it right. They're trying to they're trying to protect themselves against the truth. Or to fight against the truth here. Yeah. There's regrets here. Someone has regrets about what they've done. Yeah, about rejecting an apology here. Or rejecting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Rejecting someone's apology, they regret it. But now they're seeing things differently now. King, Knight of Pentacles reverse is someone who's full stop here. Someone who can be very jealous, very envious, not stable. But they're working on it. They could have worked on it with someone, but they chose not to. They're not stable. Mm -mm. This could be someone from the past that's coming back around, possibly, to make something right. Because the divine is not letting them move on until they do. Yeah, they're not, the chariot reverse, they're not allowed to move on until they make something right. And it was betrayal, just being stabbed in the back, deception, lies and deceit. They can't move on until they make something right that costs somebody family dynamics or costs somebody uh, their family. Someone has regrets about rejecting an apology here. Now they see something more clearly. It caused the end, the very painful ending to a family dynamic or friendships that are like family. The King of Swords here. This is someone who speaks the truth but uses logic to do so. They are more, more so logic based. But they're very intelligent and they're a very honest person with the King of Swords here. They're not moving on until they're not in their head about it anymore until the truth has been revealed to them. Someone regrets hurting or not apologizing to an Aquarius. Um, somebody here is healing. This Aquarius is healing. If you're done with an Aquarius. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords here in the reverse. This Queen of Swords, though, isn't healing. This Queen of Swords here is very cold and apathetic and aggressive and a, and a liar. Gemini Libra. But this King of Swords here is moving on. Away from this. And someone now has... Re this King of Swords may even have regrets about this Aquarius leaving a Pisces. This person is healing, though, but the Queen of Swords is not. Mm -mm. Queen of Swords and a Queen of Wands here in reverse is somebody who is not a nice woman. Deceptive, cold, aggressive, um, attention-seeking, vindictive, petty, cold-hearted, cunning. I feel like this King of Swords is regretful over manipulating a Pisces from the past. Yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. They want to reveal the truth that they're moving away from this. They're no longer going there. They want to come out of the cold possibly with a, a water sign. They're blocking out this queen of swords or this Gemini Libra because they want to make an offer to, of happiness, of enlightenment, to take action towards the mother, towards maybe the mother of their children or past lover to a Taurus Libra possibly or a Cancer Pisces. They want to offer their love again to this person. They want to be back married with this person. There's big love between this this empress and this emperor here. And I feel like this is this is actually the real the real wife that the King of Swords wants to go back to and be their husband again. The Queen of Swords is not gonna have it though when she finds out. Mm -mm. But this Queen of Swords here is very overindulgent. A liar, they maybe an alcoholic, possibly. Very insincere. But And they're always waiting for someone to judge them or waiting for someone to make a decision that's fair and just. But yet, they're not fair and just. They're very noncommittal here. They don't, they don't listen to higher order here. They don't have a job, possibly. And this, they think someone's going to leave them. And they are for someone from the past. So, basically, there's a husband and wife. Or a partner, partner, okay? There's big love, whatever. There's a couple here that's married. One of the partners here is really, like, not done any healing. Like, none. 
and is literally making the other partner regret leaving somebody from the past for them. And this person that's regretful of leaving a partner from the past or wife or husband or whatever wants to go back to them and be with them and leave the person that they originally chose over their past person. So in the past, there was a third party scenario. Somebody was cheating and they left their spouse for that new person. Now, years later, it feels like, because I got, I got, I'm getting like a passage of time. Now the person that they're with is showing their true face. Is They're not accountable. They're not responsible. They don't have a job. They don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of the household. They are an alcoholic, possibly. Male or female, doesn't matter. And I feel like it's a feminine energy that's doing this. And they're very selfish, very vindictive, petty, dishonest, cunning, cutting, um, very rude, very disrespectful person. Um, and now that now this person now sees this when they didn't before and they want to go back to their past person that they manipulated could be a cancer Scorpio Pisces they have regrets over what they did so somebody here is getting karma here via their their person that they're currently with for what they did in the past but I do feel like this person is going to have to this person is going to go back to the past person okay to make it right because they still have love for them there's still love between them or there could be two people coming together that are both in relationships that are coming together with big love. They're leaving their partners to be together. So they're in a third party. Um, it could be a Taurus Libra and Aries Leo um, Taurus energy. New love here between the two of them. If it isn't the first scenario. So... Yeah, and this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse person, this feminine energy, is really not going to like it when this happens. Let's see who you could be dealing with, and then I'm going to read the guidance. Let's see. Who could this reading be pertaining to? Whomever's watching, who are they dealing with? What zodiac sign, sun, moon, rising could they be dealing with, please? Okay, we got Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. We also have Virgo, Taurus, and Aries, Leo. Okay, we also got Aquarius. I'm going to get a card for each. Let's see. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, what's Pisces' intentions towards the person watching this? If you're dealing with a Pisces. They are in great despair over what has happened, or they will be. Or their intentions is to cause great despair. This person, the Capricorn, is very loving, maybe a mother. Maybe they want to nurture you. Um, a Gemini is very frivolous and kind of carefree. They don't have any responsibility or accountability in them at all. Okay. If you know what a Sagittarius, they intend to be very frivolous, very naive with you. They want to be very loyal to you. Okay. If you're dealing with a Virgo. Merchant. There's, they, they plan on putting an end to their salesman kind of ways. They're always on the go. They're player ways they're being very selfish very um conniving ways they want to put it into it or they're they're just or they're displaying they're trying to fool you with displays of sadness when really they don't give it they don't give two shits oh a taurus is a if it's a female taurus she is your enemy she will stab you in the back yep or there is a female enemy against a taurus that will stab them in the back but they're i forget it more so if you're dealing with a female taurus this person's wearing a mask, and they are your enemy, and they will stab you in the back. Yeah, they are planning on ruining a reunion for you. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, what's Aries' intention? Uh, okay. They plan on trying to figure out a way to petition their conversation or to petition their side with love here because they do want something with you. But they don't know how to do it. Um, someone also may need to speak to an attorney. Okay. If you're done with a Leo, what's Leo's intentions? They want to come together with you. Um, you might get a drunk text from them about kind of getting back together. They want to gift you something, but they're also still a liar. They are, they have a grandiose type of personality. 
and they're a liar. They feel like you owe them. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, what's Aquarius's intention? Okay, they're very sad and heartbroken over the communication here, over the ending of something. They might drink to deal with their pain. And you might also get a drunk text from them. Get yeah, but they're also a liar too. Or they feel like someone is a liar. Aquarius is also a liar. Somebody here drinks a lot and they lie when they're drinking. To a woman, to an older woman. Or they feel like there's an older woman in their life that's a liar. They dream of getting out of this. Yep, they dream about getting out of this. Alright, let's see. So, let's read these for your guidance. <clears throat> Wolf number 44 in reverse. talks about instincts and freedom so you're not listening to your instincts here it says in reverse wolf is asking you to let yourself run wild howl at the moon dance naked laugh for no reason uh, laugh for no reason and sing your heart out let your animal nature take over and do whatever comes naturally allow yourself these moments of freedom taking a few minutes each day to let this energy rise release Release your freedom under the light of the full moon somewhere in nature. You need to get grounded in nature here. Okay. We also got transformation in reverse. Someone's fighting the change. They don't want it to happen. They don't They don't want um, the change to take place here. So transformation talks about alchemy and change. They're fighting it. Okay. It could be on Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. And it says transformation in reverse is unyielding. You've battened down the hatches and refused to budge, even though you're seconds from being swept away. Let the winds carry you where they wish you to go. You may not understand why you're being taken so far off, off course, but realize there is a great plan that is beyond your current understanding. Stop fighting the change of the divine or you'll be laid out, is what I just heard. Ooh, you'll be forced to surrender. All right, number 26, Nature Spirits. Okay, so this talks about sacred and playfulness. The world of Fae has existed alongside the human world for a millennia. Our Celtic ancestors saw and believed in fairies. To them, fairies played a role in a bigger world than what meets the eye. They are a reminder of the things that are priceless in this life and, and that often magic is missing in your everyday life. If you pulled the nature spirits, it could be because you have overlooked details in the daily grind. There are small things in your life that are sacred that have not yet that have not been given their proper space. This could be a family member or a project in your home. It could be yourself. When was the last time you felt genuine joy, had a big belly laugh, or felt truly loved and supported? You are being asked to be mindful of the little things in your life. These little things are calling for you. Desperate for your attention, there are a rem they are a reminder that it is the small things in life that also make up the world. You make the world go round. To, uh, um, heard attention to details. The devil's in the details. So you need to. There's something you're missing in the details that you're not quite seeing because you're fighting the change here. Okay, you need to get grounded in your energy. Okay. Well, this is what I have for the collective in love. I hope this helps. Um, if this resonates with you, drop a sunflower in the comment section below to let me know that it resonated. Um, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below, along with the collective love reading um, playlist as well. You can definitely check those out. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, collective, I love you guys. Please take care of yourself. Until next time.